it was a warm weekend and that's going to continue for the next couple of days. Temperatures at or just above normal. Grants Pass and Medford warmed into the mid-90s. 87 degrees for Klamath Falls yesterday. Hot temperatures still impacting the southwest. Triple digits in Phoenix and Las Vegas as well as Dallas yesterday afternoon. Still warm up in the Pacific Northwest but not quite as hot. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for Portland and Seattle. Now as we head forward into the next several days we're going to be under the influence of an upper level low. Right now it's actually cut off from the jet stream so that's why it's just been sitting out there. We dealt with it last week. It brought us those thunderstorms last week. It's once again going to be impacting us as we head forward into this week. So let's break down the timing. Today, that upper level low is too far offshore. It's not able to tap into that moisture and stability is not going to be that great. So for today, it's going to be warm, it's going to be sunny, and it's going to be dry across the area. That's why we're going to be seeing that chance for increasing smoke being emitted from those fires. That upper level low will move just a little bit further inland tomorrow. There is a slight chance for thunderstorms. The limiting factor will be that moisture. If it's not able to tap into that moisture in the southwest, we won't see any thunderstorms tomorrow. It will still be warm when we'll still see mostly sunny skies. Things change on Wednesday. That upper level low gets the influence of the jet stream. It's actually going to become negatively tilted. Basically, just this is going to be moving like that, and that actually just brings in better chances for thunderstorms because of the flow. It's able to tap into that moisture, basically suck it up into our atmosphere, and we will see Wednesday through Friday our best chances for thunderstorms. The most likely chance to see those thunderstorms will be at the higher elevations, but the threat is across our area, the entire viewing area, through the end of the week, starting on Wednesday, though. Fire danger level is at extreme because we've been dealing with a lot of dry fuels, and hopefully those thunderstorms will start to help us out. There's a lot of pros and cons with thunderstorms. Rain, definite pro. However, could lead to flash flooding, flash flooding over those already burned areas. Now at the coast, smoke will be decreasing through the day and we'll see more sunshine in the afternoon as well. In the mountains, hazy with areas of smoke, still a lot of sunshine, comfortable in the way of temperatures, 72 in Crater Lake this afternoon. In the basin, a lot of sunshine, but hazy and smoky conditions. Temperatures ranging anywhere from the low to upper 80s, depending on your location. Siskiyou County, you're getting smoke from all areas. Smoke from the Southern Oregon fires, as well as the fires burning in your area. Still expecting to see that through the week. And in the Rogue Valley, we will start to see more smoke through the day. We're already seeing it in the morning this in Medford and its southeasterly areas of the Rogue Valley. We'll see increasing smoke through the day. At the coast, showers Wednesday through Friday, isolated to scattered in the basin. Not only talking about thunderstorms, but showers. That is the good news with this. Any showers will be relatively light. However, thunderstorms can produce heavy rain. We saw it last week and hail, in fact. Siskiyou County, isolated thunderstorms and showers as we head into most of the week. And for the Rogue Valley, that chance for isolated thunderstorms on Wednesday, where we could see some showers outside of those thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. So a lot of good news with with the rain coming, it's not going to be too heavy outside of thunderstorms. And of course, thunderstorms can produce lightning, which can start new fires. So it's going to be kind of a give or take on what we're going to get with these storms. We're really going to have to watch it. Like you said, a lot of pros, a lot of cons. Yeah, definitely.